New testing has been completed at Grand Lake St. Mary's ahead of Memorial Day weekend. Now, the lake, of course, has a history of to toxic algae, as you know, and because of those results, the lake will have a recreational advisory posted this weekend. That means the old, the young, or those with health problems should not swim, but fishing and boating, that's okay. New at 6, Jordan Burgess, checking out the lake's health for you. As Grand Lake St. Mary's prepares for a major Memorial Day weekend, those who live up here tell me the lake is no longer in the rocky position it once was, but that smoothing out all the rough edges will take some time. Charlie Wolford has heard his share of fish stories over the years, but unfortunately, one involving his daughter and Grand Lake St. Mary's is all too true. She went to toss a rock in, and instead of going kerplunk like it would for water, it did like a... That's how much toxic algae was on Grand Lake in 2010. It basically shut down most activities on the lake and kept tourists away. Now, three years later, we went back to the lake to find out how safe it is. What we discovered is that the improved water quality is washing away some of those bad memories. In all aspects, you can use the lake today. Uh, you can fish, you can boat, you can ski. But look below the surface and there are still concerns about the algae returning. That's why some wanted the state to continue its alum treatments on the lake for a third year. An EPA report shows the treatments reduced the phosphorus that the algae feed on by 55 percent. Would I have liked to have done it one more year? I think one more year would have helped us. But having spent eight and a half million dollars already, those trying to improve the lake told me the state thought the cost was too high. From the beginning, they knew the treatments had an expiration date. Alum treatments were meant just to give us some short-term relief to try to tie up some of the phosphorus that feeds the algae in the lake. That's why other efforts are underway, like dredging the lake to remove what feeds the algae. So far, they've been enough, but the test will come as the lake heats up. We do know um, that in the summer months, when the winds lie down and it gets hot, uh, that's our enemy. Uh, that's what feeds the the growth of the algae. The struggle against that algae is far from over, but those in the middle of the fight are optimistic that it's a battle they're winning. It will always require attention and maintenance. That's just the way the world is. Uh, but without a doubt, uh, this will be a safe lake again and its health will be restored. Many I've talked to hope that this is the year that the number of visitors returns to pre-algae levels and that like the waves here, they keep coming back. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.